Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I am doing a collaboration with Black Summer Coloring. If you don't know who she is or you're new to this channel or anything at all, I'll leave her link down below. Please go check her out and check her half of the collab. Both me and her have done a lot of collabs here on YouTube and we decided we wanted to do something we haven't really done before and we were wrecking our brains for something new and exciting and we came up with this idea. So what we're doing is pictures or posters for B movies. She chose a title for me and I chose a title yeah, and I chose a title for her. I'm not going to tell you what I chose for her though. I want it to be a surprise and I haven't seen her finished piece yet So I'm so excited to go across and see it. So please go check her out. But yeah, for me She chose Poultry Geist Night of the Chicken Dead and it's hilarious. I, <laughs> I was so excited to do this. We also chose our mediums for each other. So we gave each other a list of mediums just so we didn't have to go out and buy anything new and we both chose something out of those lists. And for me, she chose acrylic. I'm actually really, really glad she did. I was kind of skeptical, I suppose, at the start just because I don't have a lot of experience with acrylic. I'm very careful with it. If you remember a while ago, I was asking for tips and stuff because in my lifetime, I probably used acrylic a handful of times and a lot of you guys pointed out that I use it very heavy handedly. I don't use a lot of like water when I paint. So I tried to incorporate more water this time and it definitely helped. Sometimes I watered it down a little bit too much, but that way you can always build up. Whereas if you go in too thick, it's difficult to take it away again, you know? So yeah, it worked out a lot better this time. I also found that water really helps with gradients and stuff. If you're, you know, trying to blend colors evenly and stuff, it definitely helps a lot. So <laughs> things you probably already know, but for me, it's a learning process. I'm a lot more comfortable with watercolor than acrylic. So as you know, a lot of my videos are watercolor. I also found that it's a little bit more time consuming just because I'm being a lot more careful. I don't know if that's a bad thing or not though, because that little bit of uh, caution made this turn out really well in my opinion. I actually really enjoyed this. I really love the final piece and yeah, I'd love to know what you guys think of the final piece as well. So when she told me my B-movie name and my medium, I began sketching or whatever and I didn't show my sketching process. As you know, I don't really show my sketching process because it can take a long time. Sometimes I'd be sketching for a whole day before I even think about sitting down and finishing it, you know? I did start off with my fonts. I just mapped out how big I wanted the page, how big I wanted my fonts, sketched it in or whatever, and that was fine. Then I went on to my sketch and I knew I wanted something close up. I wanted his face kind of close up. I wanted a zombie chicken and I've never seen a zombie chicken before so it was kind of all just me just experimenting with colours and stuff. It wasn't going to be normal chicken colour because, you know, he's dead. He's a walking chicken dead so I was going to do him like greens and greys. I Originally in my sketch I had pupils in his eyes and I took them out completely just because I just something about white sheared over eyes are really creepy but my illustration style doesn't really lend itself to creepy so it's creepy and cutesy and a mesh of the two. It's very cartoony. Very cartoony. I also didn't want something with a huge amount of detail just because I don't really have the brushes for tiny little details. <laughs> yeah well I have a few brushes and I have a bag full of old brushes but when I was younger a lot of these brushes were from when I was younger. I had a nasty habit of using paintbrushes for paint. No, that's not what I was meant to say. I had a nasty habit for using paintbrushes with glue and I just absolutely destroyed some of my really nice brushes. So now I'm left with like a case of brushes. Um, When I say case, I mean a bit 15 brushes and I'm trying to take really good care of them so I don't want to ruin them. And I only have like two two detail brushes. One isn't very small. So I just don't have a huge array of brushes. And on top of that, I'm not very comfortable with the medium. So I didn't want a huge amount of detail. But even for the lack of tiny little details, I think it turned out good. I wanted part of his brain showing because me, when I think a zombie, I think of, you know, open head wounds with brains and stuff sticking out and bones and stuff like that. So I definitely wanted that. And also for the puffy thing on chicken's head. Okay. I had this fight with, <laughs> well, not a fight. I had a debate with my parents. Do chickens have those things on their head or is that just hens? Or are hens and chickens different things? I don't know. <laughs> I sound so silly right now, but I added it in anyway. Dad seemed to think it was only roosters that had that on their head. So let me know if I got that wrong, but either way. <laughs> and then finally I added in the worm and I just, his face just makes me crack up. Just the whole like, I'm being eaten kind of face. So yeah, that's <laughs> it's just for satirical value, I suppose. Let me know what you guys think and definitely go over, check out Black Summer Colouring. 
I'm not going to give anything away. I'm not going to tell you what theme I gave her, what poster name I gave her. So please go check her out. And yeah, I'm going to head over now and have a look. I'm so excited. This is actually my third time, third, fourth time doing this voiceover. My computer does this weird thing where it cuts out chunks of the voiceover because my, my mic disconnects from my computer altogether. It doesn't tell me. It's meant to make a noise, but it doesn't tell me. And then I'm left with like a huge chunk of just nothing, but it adds together when it starts up again. So I'd be talking about one thing. It could skip like a minute of talking and then it will go into the next thing and it just doesn't make sense and it's near impossible to edit that out you know I've had to try this a couple times and the problem with that then is I have to check all my voiceovers completely I have to go through them all make sure that there's nothing missing just because I don't want to stick it into the video thinking everything's okay and then suddenly people are like um that didn't make sense Ivana what are you talking about so yeah <laughs> that's that's what's going on with me so yeah uh, anyway other than my um utter horrible look with technology I had a great fun doing this and thank you so much Claire for asking me to collaborate I had so much fun and I really hope we can do it again sometime for those of you who may not know Claire is in the Art Addicts Alliance with me and we also done a Christmas collab last Christmas and hopefully we will be doing more group collabs in the future so thank you so much I honestly had fun and I hope you did too that's it for me I'm gonna stop blabbing and I hope you enjoyed this video please let me know what you think I think I've said that before but please let me know what you think and I hope you have a great day bye